Juneteenth is the nation's youngest federal holiday. President Biden declared it a holiday in 2021. Juneteenth's significant history dates back, though, more than 150 years. We're going to take you beyond the headline into the holiday's history. After four bloody years, the Union defeated the Confederacy to win the Civil War and abolish slavery in April 1865. There were nearly four million slaves in the U.S. at that time. Union armies began marching through the southern states, freeing thousands of slaves each day. The news took months to reach Texas, the westernmost state in the Confederacy. On June 19, 1865, Major General Gordon Granger and 2,000 Union troops rode into Galveston, Texas and told slaves of their freedom. Quote, the people of Texas are informed that, in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involves an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. It was announced at the headquarters district of Texas Galveston on June 19, 1865. Granger's words spread through Texas. All at once, slaves found out the war was over and they were free. Their joyous, spontaneous celebration gave birth to Juneteenth. Juneteenth, a combination of words June and 19th, commemorates when the last enslaved people in the South were finally set free. Many slaves were met with violence or death when they tried to leave, yet the promise of freedom extinguished fear and fueled generations of indestructible people. Former slaves gathered on Juneteenth the next year and the year after that, and over the decades, black communities observed the holiday with festive family gatherings, colorful parades, and bountiful barbecues.